Hello folks and welcome back to the second part of the Maple Story commentary. Sorry if the music is a bit loud but it's been a while since I've done this and yeah, uh, I was actually supposed to do this way back with this character Twilight Rose in El Nav but yeah, I never quite got around to doing it because of a kind of big interruption where yeah, about 10, no maybe 15 levels later, I'm now back finishing this off for real, so yeah, where to begin? Well, where to begin also some came up. Anyway, so my plan for the day is I'll show off the area leading up to, I think, Megaya, which is where I'm currently training, and yeah, I'll show off some of the skills as uh, my wizard. And uh, Now, to talk about this wizard, how good is she? Well, she's pretty damn, she's probably the most, I would say, versatile and that, like really versatile, you know, like, holy shit, problem is though, yeah, she's kinda, how do I say this, she's Pretty much an MP hoarder in a sense, because she uses a lot. I mean, holy shit! Like my god, she does use also. I swear the move sets are loud as fuck. Ah, now you know, kind of loud enough as uh, the melee warrior, but holy shit, they're especially loud here. Oh fuck! My god. Oh man, but. Yeah, I will admit, she is, uh, I say some of the fact that she can't take that much damage, especially if you don't have that buff there that allows you to 90% of the damage to be taking the MP instead. And that, uh, you know, if I went for that, I'd be dying constantly with her. And uh, although, you know what annoys me about her is that so far I've not had anything to really compensate for getting more MP. Like, there's no MP leech skill as far as I can tell. Which is really unfortunate. You know, because I would really love to have that. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, I've yet shot the other skill. Oh no, that being the summoning the storm cloud, is it word? Oh man. Let's see, I'll sum up the now, let's see what it's like. Yeah, I hardly fucking use this one because it's kinda. Eh, it's kinda pointless. And that, like, I don't find it to be that good. You know, I mean, it's it's decent, but it's not great. You know, but man, I could just be me because so far, like, I've got three summons for each, and that, uh, I've for the fucking, uh, oh, I can't pick that up. Fuck, yeah, for uh, my main character, Defense Lion. Also, that's if you want, that's what's over there. Holy oh, shit, lag. Yeah, in case you're wondering, that's actually a boss. Uh, I don't know, have I showed off a boss before? I don't think I have. But. Oh man. Uh, let's see, he's pushing here. Yeah. Like, I'd say the problem with uh, some is that all of them are kinda. eh, like they're not especially useful. And, uh, which is a shame, especially in the wizard's case, because I was hoping the thundercloud would actually be quite powerful, but no. It's not, it's... Yeah, well. So, lag! Uh, holy shit. Oh, man. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's see, I'll just use a couple of those. But, yeah. That was, a uh, Something. Also, I'm actually really curious to see what this recipe is. I'm thinking it might be a transformation portion. Potion. Fuck. Words. Stick with me. Come on. Alright. So I think it'll be in here somewhere. Uh, oh, it's f uh, actually, I might want to keep that. I think that's something to do with that firepower. That might be something to do with the events and that's going on here. So, yeah, I want to keep that on me. Also, I need to re-update my buffs. Yeah, as I saw, it was a transformation thing. 
So yeah, that's the least of that. Oh man. So yeah, as I was saying about summons and that, my main character defense line, he has his dark eye, which is probably the most versatile of the summons because it can do a lot of different things. And uh, like attack enemies, buff you, uh, get rid of debuffs, and I think later on you can do even more with it. Like allow it to leech enemies HP for you, MP, and even let it sacrifice you for a huge HP heal on that, which could come in handy, you know. You know, it's HP leech for weapons does that mostly on its own anyway. But eh, you never know. So let's see what other enemies are there. Pretty sure, uh, like, mind you, this isn't the only part of Arian, in case you're wondering. There's a whole another section leaning towards Magaya as well, which, if I have the time, I might try and show off on that. Uh, but yeah, lag wise, it's, uh, yeah, oh, oh shit, took quite a bit of damage there. Yeah, it's struggling, I'm not going to lie. Oh man, what is up my computer today? Holy shit. Yeah, I think one problem with Maple Story is that it kind of lags here and there, but usually it doesn't lag this bad. I mean, the other kind of lag that I've been dealing with is a uh, lag where it's like the enemies just seem to kind of stop, even though you can still move about. And I have no idea where it's like what it's all about, but, yeah, well, can't exactly deal much about it. Uh, enemies, there we go. I was one of the fucking enemies, what? But, yeah, well, okay, so time to show, th that's not very shown off, but, I might as well bring it forth again. Yeah, so this one, eh, yeah, I'm not sure what I would say this one's worse than the, Exontius to summon, and uh, which is kind of more or less the same thing, except I think it's a bit more, it moves a bit faster, you know, as in keeps up with you pretty quickly, so that's something, I guess, and that, but eh, it might just be me, you know, but oh man, I will admit though that. You know, with regards to the game that, yeah, the music is definitely one of its best assets. And now, like, holy shit. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see why people compliment this alongside its, I guess, vast amount of... I wouldn't say gameplay-wise, but maybe content-wise. Because there's certainly a lot on offer here. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's definitely some. Oh man. Oh. So yeah, I'm thinking there's much else. Oh wait, shit, I should probably read update my buffs. As no, you know what, I could probably do that. Yeah, in case you wanna, I'm a tad bit over leveled for this area. Oh, by tad, I mean I'm only about five levels ahead. But still. Uh. So yeah, that's this area here anyway. Uh, but yeah, the problem with uh, the, not defense line, Twilight Rose is that yeah, she uses up MP a lot. Like it's uh, kind of ridiculous, and it means that she takes way more MP than what she should be doing. But uh, well, can't be helped, I guess. You know, I'll take a couple more of those, uh, re-update these, and yep, we'll be heading up towards the path to Magatia, and uh, let's see what this is like, ah, uh, here they are, yeah, in case if you're wondering, these are our fellow friends meerkats, yeah, they've, they've got all kinds of creatures here, and uh, also, floating crate. Yeah, I noticed that glitch a good few days ago and it's still here apparently. Huh. Lol. Oh man. Oh uh, well. Oh uh, well. So, anyway, uh. 
So, and else notes about about the wizard? Well, other than how fucking expensive it is to maintain, well, not exactly, no. Uh, I mean, it's most noticeable trait done that's actually good is that it's actually very versatile and that, like, you know, it's not a pain in the ass to use, like, some people would make it out to be. But it is very fucking expensive to keep using, you know. In long term, I think you would have to get funding in that from other people. That or, as I would suggest, use fucking potions. And that, you know. Which is good, because this is what I've shown off in that later on with alchemy. Because if it weren't for the alchemy, then I'd be fucked. And that, you know. But... Fortunately, the alchemy does help very much so, you know, so that's always a good thing. Oh man, that much it does. Oh man. So, yeah, she's not bad to use and, uh, you know, I'd say that combat wise, it's hard to say because right now defense line is doing quite poorly against the current enemies like state multiple hits to try and kill them whereas for her it's not too bad and plus it's actually quite easy multi hit and now if you know what you're doing so you know that's some at least but yeah really easy stack up big combos if you can do it right and man it feels so fucking satisfying you can pull off a good combo like say Six multi kills are above. Really feels nice. Oh man, that it does. Oh. So let's see what else we've got here. And I mean, yeah. Right now, I've been trying to focus mostly on uh, Magaya now with my current level, but yeah, some areas are quite big. I think Arden's one of the bigger areas out there. Like, there's a lot to do here. And that, like. So much so that actually, even though I've missed a good portion of quests, because there's this whole sand bandit thing that I couldn't do here, because I just couldn't figure out where the fuck I need to go, and that. But I think, you know what, fuck, I'll look, I'll look at the side street here to see if there's anything interesting. Uh, anything here? Yeah, there is actually. Huh. Oh, man. I should probably update the buffs. Let's see. Uh, not really that strong, are they? Yeah, like they're getting one hit, no problem. Oh man. Oh man. Yep, they're getting wrecked. Son, they are getting fucking wrecked. Oh man. Yep, one hit, no problem. Alright, well, that's some at least. Of course, most of these getting one head anyway, so it's like, eh. Uh, eh, well, let's see what's up further ahead. Uh, let's see. The yeah, Arpeg is this whole pyramid thing and that I haven't bothered with. It's like, it's supposedly you can do it for like some decent rewards, but. Right? I'm like, eh, can't be fucked with that shit. It's unfortunate because it's level sensitive. I mean, you can only do it from 88 to up to 99, and then after that, that's it pretty much done with, so. But, oh well. I can't be fucking bored with that shit. Oh well. Uh, at least, yeah, she's in not too shabby. And, uh. That much, I will say. Oh man. I, I, honestly, it feels really good just to get all these one hit stunners. Man, it's just fucking awesome. Oh. Damn, son. Oh man. Let's see. Oh fuck. Look at that lag. Down. Fuck yeah. Nice. Five more kill. Holy shit. 
Like, serious, I hope that uh, once she gets to like level 110, where she can start experimenting with the fourth class skills, which I think is an ice arc mage, I hope she will do some serious damage. Like, that would be really fucking epic. I'd love her to be able to do just all that. I know, so there's that rune thing, but that's surprising because it's never actually gave me an announcement on that before. Usually it doesn't bother. Also, oh shit, that was a little. Was that a multi kill 6 or 8? Couldn't quite tell with that, but. Damn, it feels nice to do all that shit regardless. So yeah, I think it's just one more to go and then that's it. Oh, oh shit. Oh man, this never gets old. And that. Uh, oh. Or is it, as in some ways it feels like a different game when you have to play with the sound on. And that. You know, you, you wouldn't think that would be surprising, but I say it is in a way. But, oh anyway, well. Could just be me on that for all you know. There's that. Get wrecked. Eh. Oh man. Uh, and yeah, I think we're just about here. And now, uh, yeah. And Magatia. Yeah, I think uh, from what I tested just before I went to Aryan, yeah, there's music. Yeah, this place is actually quite, yeah, quiet. And uh, like most of the tracks I've heard so far, based on when I've put the music, because that's been fairly vibrant. But this one's one of the more subtle ones, I'd say. But yeah, that's that. But of course, there is one more day I want to look at before I call it a day. And this is. But I think it's called Crafting Town. And no, that's not because I looked at it. I think it's generally called Crafting Town. And here's where you can do all kinds of shit with uh, crafting and alchemy. Uh, now, for me, I specialize in herb crafting and alchemy, which is pretty much. If you're going to be creating potions, that's like a must, pretty much. And uh, I think uh, Defense Line specializes in uh, mining and smithing, which is for the armor. But Exontis specialized on a different path which is yeah crafting so or not accessory crafting as it were so uh i'll click here and that just to show it's off and now uh, like here's all the different well passes this is one just one genre of it yeah recovery potions uh no actually that's okay never mind and now uh, like here's all the different oils you can make and now which is yeah, it still levels up. And that, uh, and... Yeah, it's uh, quite some, but that's just the heraldism part. Here are the potions you can make all kinds of potions. Like, yeah, it gets really ridiculous. And there's pills, which is uh, pretty much something you can get more of and that, although I've yet to unlock that, which is, yeah, really unfortunate. Oh man, and also advanced potions and shit. That, that's the stuff I'd really like to receive, but... Might have to wait on that sometime and... Yeah, you can get all kinds of shit with us, like extractors, which... Allows you to get iron crystals, which is essential for smithing and... Uh, accessory crafting, like, it is fucking necessary. But here's a really fun one. This is one I wish I could have showed off, but I just don't have the items for it. And... This here allows you to transform into monsters and that. Uh, yeah, like Triple Rumo from Magatia, Rako from the Vern Mines, uh, Elisa from, uh, I think it's a boss from Orbis. Uh, and there's all, there's all kinds of ones, like green snails, green mushrooms, ghost stumps, uh, sturges, you know. Enemies that are super weak, but you can also get like some of the really good ones, like yeah, Ghost Farm, which I think are 120. Ghost Pirate, 118. Yeti, 120. Uh, uh, let's see, Samuel, 62, which I'm kind of surprised I've never come across to that. But yeah, all kinds of potions are available here. Like, it is a bit ridiculous. Uh, let's see, anything else? Uh, no, Fusicor, and that's kind of self explanatory, but. Yeah, it's uh, quite a lot. Quite a lot indeed. 
Uh, I suppose the last thing to show off will be the actual going out to the patch and getting these places and stuff. Things themselves. So, yeah, with this, all you really do is just, uh, yeah, you pretty much pick all the herbs up. Oh, man. Yeah, well, it's something like, I, I will admit, this can get a bit boring, and that, especially when you got all these useless fucking items. Also, I've accumulated enough herbs and mastery. Oh, need to check that out there. But, yeah, this is where I'll be going to, like, get all my potions and shit. So, yeah, that's something at least. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, so, anyway, I reckon that'll probably be it for the now. So, yeah, I'll probably stop here and, uh, I think there's one last thing to, to talk about. It'll probably be just to show off my stats, so. It's here, 60 fame, mage, ice lightning, there. There's all the medals I've got so far. And, uh. Yeah. Not exactly much to comment on. And now then, well. Yeah, you got all these different kind of skills. And now, which. Most of them aren't too bad, and uh, I mean, I don't know, like, it's funny looking back at all, all these different skills. Oh no, that one's not even. That's all I got a fucking five, and. Yeah, here's the beginner's base, which I don't even have shown for any fucking character. <laughs> but, yeah, beginner skills indeed. So, yeah, I reckon. I reckon that'll be about it. So, yeah, next time I will be talking about the last character I've yet to talk about, Exontius, who is my archer, or rather my crossbowman. And that, so, yep, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys till then. Yeah, till the next time, folks. <laughs>